The Cambodian government is working towards the elimination of malaria by 2025. In Pailin, on the Cambodian border with Thailand, a new form of malaria parasite has recently been discovered that is resistant to the common first-line treatment, artemisinin, and is on the move. Migration in the Mekong region is increasing due to economic development, with many people travelling for employment. Correspondingly, there's been a rise in malaria cases among these mobile workers, who are crossing the border every day. We face that this group of people who migrate and move from place to another might be carrying parasite resistance to the other country as well. Working with the Cambodian National Malaria Control Programme, Malaria Consortium has set up three border crossing posts to ask migrants to volunteer for malaria testing and to learn more about the spread of the disease. One of these posts is on the Cambodia-Thailand border in Pai Lin. The mobile and migrant population, it really and very difficult for us, very hard for us to reach. An estimated 100,000 migrant workers cross the Thai-Cambodian border every year in search of work and could be spreading the disease undetected. In Pai Lin, this is being tackled in a number of ways. We have to set up our place that very close to the border, that where they are close every day. And then we have to interview them and we do the uh, RDT test. We try to get them to, to screen them if they have the parasite or malaria, we have to provide the treatment immediately. The challenge in containing this parasite is that many carriers don't display any physical symptoms. Normally, those who have symptomatic, they can go to see the, um, the doctor or the health facility already. But for us, we are focusing to the asymptomatic. They have no signs and symptoms, they don't have any fever at all. But they can, might, uh, some of them might carry the malaria parasite inside the blood. We don't know. So that's why we have to screen all the people who cross the border to um, make sure that we have to contain all the uh, resistant parasites. The border control only deals with the official movement of migrants. Many migrants cross the border via unofficial routes too. So here is um, a river along the Thai and Cambodia border that where it is normally it's migrant people and who cross the border and to look for a job in Thailand. And it's no bridge, they just swim and then get across the river and to Thailand. Then our field assistant, our team is here and they are screening the border closer when they come back um, from Thailand in the evening. Many have reported that it takes longer to recover from the disease as this new strain of Plasmodium falciparum is showing increasing resistance to the treatment they currently take. <laughs> When migrant workers do feel symptoms, rather than go to the local health centres, which might mean losing a day's work, many go to a local pharmacy. Malaria Consortium has been piloting an SMS project as a way of collaborating with local pharmacies to keep tabs on the numbers and movement of malaria cases. We have one of our field assistant. Her role and responsibility, and she has to go day by day to all the private sector here and to make sure that all of our private uh, partners know how to, to use or send SMS when they meet the malaria patient. 
we train them actually. We invite them for the training for one day and we explain about the reason why we want to work with them in terms of the resistance, in terms of moving toward for eliminations. And then we train them how to send to use SMS. Also, how to uh, um, identify the malaria patients. If one day we can't contain all this disease, all of our efforts may be useless. The parasite can spread to one country, to another country, maybe from one continent to another continent, let's say from Asia to Africa. Malaria Consortium is currently using SMS-based technology in other districts, while screening activities continue on the border with Laos, where the highest number of resistant parasites have been found. It is essential that governments, donors and practitioners come together to extend this vital work to other towns along the Thai and Lao borders with Cambodia. A lot of things need to be done after the project study is finished. We hope to continue to, to scale up our project to the other area as well. We have many places that we need to do as well.